One by one they go in to the food bank on Cherry and 7th. This is the beginning of the line, beginning of another day for Curly Amaro. His last job lasted 29 days. He's run out of money. It's why he's standing here, waiting for his next meal, for life to get better. This line to the food bank shows, for many Americans, putting food on the table is hard. Juliana Bueno is 75. Her sister died two years ago. Now she's all alone. Thank you. <laughs> you rarely see anyone smiling at a food bank. I wish I could tell you her laughter is contagious. It's not. This former cab driver hasn't worked in two years. He'd rather not tell us his name, but he did tell me he lives on the streets. Every day they line up, young and old, single moms. They know that today Northwest Harvest will be serving turkey to go with the rice and beans, bread and pasta. This is Tony Webb. He's 45 and tells me his food stamps ran out. That's why he's here. He tells me his life is about to change. Tony starts a drug treatment program next week. When the unemployment numbers came out earlier today, the media reported it. These people live it. They know what it's like to go to bed hungry and wake up hungry. This endless line to the food bank tells the story. You just saw the faces of 44 people. I counted them. 45, 46. They're waiting, waiting for better times. In Seattle, John Sharifi, Como 4 News.